Hi, in this video we are going to introduce the first of three types of visualizations with data wrapper, which will be charts. The three types that we are going to consider will be charts, maps and tables. As you see on the left part, there are many types of charts that we are going to use, either bar charts, bullets, uh, we will use representations with lines, scatter plots, and pi on Danode related graphs. And this is the, one, the, the ones that we are going to start to see in this video. Okay, either if we are creating a chart, a map, or a table, when we are in the, in the dashboard, we will choose the option create new, and we will select the type that we are going to use. So once we have this, we will have this representation of options and according to the data that we are going to represent and what is the type of representation that we think it's better, eh, we, will use, we will choose one of them. Remember that when we are dealing with data and we want to represent the data, we first are going to do or we have an idea of what we want to represent. We have to think a bit about what is the type of information, the columns, the sources, the fields that we have in the information, and we are starting to think a draft. Later, we will have options to modify and to change, but the type of representation that we are going to do with the data, first we have to give a first thought about what, is, what we think could be the first best option to start with. Later we can change, but at least it's not to try without thinking this. So, have a, a little thought about this. So here, for instance, we have the, one of the first representation is with lines, where we have an example, which is the rise and fall of cigarette consumption in developed countries, which is a data set that is uh, discussed, it's extracted from our, weight in the, our world in data, but it also you have information available in data wrapper uh, website, right? And here what we have is the representation where we have years on the x-axis, the number of sold cigarettes per day in a, by adult, and we can show the tendencies that we have with the different countries. Here you can see that there are some countries such as Germany, France, and United States that have been represented uh, above the other uh, countries. So if we see here this animation, so for instance, we can select, if we use the, the, the pointer and we pass over one of the lines, we can represent this above the others, right? If we don't do anything, we can have all of them, but if we choose one of them, we will can see this isolated. When we have many information about different, in this case, countries, so at some point we, can, we want to see it. Another thing is that this is interactive. As you have seen, every time that we are moving around uh, above a line and we are selecting a point, we can see the information about the year and the, the average number of cigarettes sold per day. Another type of representation is stack bars. Stack bars are interesting if we want to do uh, to have information that is somehow accumulative, but we want to split this into different types. We have here for ex an example of six kinds of sugar in 30 kinds of food, right? And for instance, if we have uh, one type of table sugar, for instance, the first one, so what we can see is what is the percentage the gra uh, in one, or the amount in 100 grams of sucrose, glucose, fructose, lactose, or malactose, maltose and galactose, right? So here, if we see this representation, we can see the total amount, right? But also we can see the, each component that we have of each different type. Every time that we are marking one of these types of sugar, what we are representing is this type across all the uh, food that we have uh, chosen to represent here. Another option is that the dot plot. This is a way instead of having, this is not so common, but it's becoming more frequent, that instead of have just on the x-axis and to mark on the y-axis with dots, so we have this horizontally, right? and we have something which is more, more easy to read from top, to, top down. And here we have uh, several movies, right? And we have the scores with IMDB, Metascore, Rotten Tomatoes, by critic and by user score. And we can compare. In the same case as before, if we mark one of the classes, so we can represent what is the valuation of all the movies ac across all these classes, right? An alternative also, to more vertical representations of the data. 
Another type that we can have is not just to have a pie, but also to have a, a, a donut and to have many of them. So here, for instance, so we are uh, representing how much of wealth in the economy do the poorest 50% own and how much the top percent. So we have three types of representation, the top percent in, in, in blue, the are blue, in red the bottom 50%, right, and the, the other, the next 40%. So here we can have the representation and we are repeating this for, uh, for different countries, as in this case from Canada, China and Norway. And the thing is that we can have this information in our table with a country and the percentage for every one of these three types. But with this option of multiple donuts, we cannot happen to repeat every time a single donut. We choose it, we choose the country that we want to represent and we will have a representation systematic of all of them, saving a lot of time. Uh, another uh, representation, very common, very powerful, is scatter plot. Scatter plots, we can have different types of. It's a very good way to integrate in different types of, of values of the data. For for instance, we have the the GDP per capita, and we have countries that are from Asia, Australia, Africa, North America, and Europe. So here, what we have is that we have the GDP on the x-axis the life expectancy on the y-axis and what we can have is to integrate other sources of information and these sources on the one hand we have the location with colors to color what is the, 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 the plot but also what we can try to do is to include another information for making the size of the representation wider right so in somehow we are representing three sources of information one on the x-axis, one on the y-axis, and another one as the size. Also, you can think of a fourth one, which will be the type, and is representing with the color. So, we have seen in this video very different options that we have with data wrapper for doing charts. And in the next videos, we are also how to deal with tables and with maps. That's all.